the Dead Sea is dying rapidly. This biblical body of water lying between Israel and Jordan is retreating by more than three feet a year, creating sinkholes that swallow up buildings and roads and forcing the rich seaside landscape on which the tourist industry relies to fade into memory. But we are living also in very interesting times because soon the Dead Sea may be resurrected into new life. The Dead Sea is very significant and mentioned many times in the Old Testament. Also there are exciting ancient prophecies that mention the Dead Sea. It is in this area that one of the oldest known manuscripts of the Hebrew Bible, the Dead Sea Scrolls, were found in the region and a section of the Jordan River about six miles north of where it flows is also considered the baptism site of Jesus Christ. The Dead Sea is mentioned in the prophecy of Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel foretells how he foresaw a time when the Dead Sea would be transformed from saline waters that cannot host life into fresh waters teeming with sea life. He prophesies that And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither. For they shall be healed, and everything shall live whither the river cometh. And it shall come to pass that the fishers shall stand upon it, from Injidai even unto Enagleum. They shall be a place to spread forth nets. Their fish shall be according to their kinds, as the fish of the great sea, exceeding many. Another prophet that mentions the Dead Sea is Zechariah, who also echoes the same prophecy centuries later. Zechariah, who received the word from God, predicted that living water would soon flow where today the water is salty. And remember, according to the biblical narrative, the Dead Sea region was once vibrant, filled with life and watered. A glimpse of that can be observed when it rains in the Dead Sea area. In a very short time then, the desert turns into a carpet of beautiful flowers. It was only after God rained down fire and brimstone on the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah that the area became a wasteland and the Dead Sea became a hypersaline salt lake. However, in the messianic era, once mankind repents, the region will return to its original status. It may be called dead, but it is actually a true treasure for Israel and Jordan. The Dead Sea lying 1,300 feet below the sea level is the lowest and most mineral-rich body of water in the world. Its 34.2% salinity makes it one of the world's saltiest body of water. The Dead Sea depth is 997 feet, which makes it the deepest hypersaline lake in the world. As a significant landmark, too salty to sustain any marine life, the Dead Sea is famous for the water's mysteriously buoyant qualities which allow people to float across the top of the water without needing to swim. But the special features of the Dead Sea don't end there. The lake's waters are a light turquoise blue color and it is surrounded by golden brown hills, here and there bright white salt crystals just out of the water. The mineral rich water and mud of the Dead Sea are believed to have numerous benefits for the body, especially for the skin and respiratory conditions. For this reason many people visit the Dead Sea every year to get special treatments at the spas surrounding it. They are enjoyed by tourists who visit the area for its beauty, uniqueness and luxury spa resorts. However, some experts believe that the Dead Sea will soon disappear and truly become dead. Now when there is a real threat of the Dead Sea existence, after two decades of discussions about how to resurrect the Dead Sea, there is a glimmer of hope, but with a huge price tag. 1.5 billion project 
to build a desalination facility in Jordan to transform the Red Sea water into drinking water while pumping the remaining salty brine into the Dead Sea. The meetings to finalize the technical details and the design are expected within weeks, a major step forward for the project. But time is running out and the sea is not disappearing without vengeance, through as roughly 6,000 sinkholes have formed. Even the devil is not here, said water management and environment engineer Eshak Alguza, as the parched earth that was once underwater crunches and shudders like breaking tiles beneath his feet. The heavy price of the sinkholes has become apparent both in Jordan and on the sea's Israel side. The sea is fed by Jordan River and other smaller waterways. Ali Subach, General Secretary of Jordan Water and Irrigation Ministry, said the flow of the Jordan River has dropped by more than 90% from its record peak. In addition to the sources being cut off, Seawater is evaporating naturally and quickly. We have to mention also the mineral extraction is a big industry in the region and it is also taking a toll. Companies on both sides of the border are pumping an estimate 61.3 billion gallons a year of the seawater, although some critics say it's even higher than that. So will this new project save the Dead Sea? Or will it change it to something we will not know? The best case scenario would see construction begin in early 2021 and take around three and a half years to complete. Thank you for your attention. If you want to stay up to date and receive information about new episodes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also support this channel by joining the Israel My Channel. This will certainly help to improve and create more content for you. Have a great day and Shalom!